could forget these pictures from just three years ago in Ferguson, Missouri. The violent protests and riots began the very day after the fatal shooting of a black man, Michael Brown, by white police officer Darren Wilson. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard is live tonight in Ferguson three years after that unrest. Ryan, with the rising racial tension that we're seeing across the nation right now, what's the mood in Ferguson tonight on this third anniversary? Well, I would say here in this area, it's certainly one of hope. We're told right over here in this corner, people used to congregate really with little to do during their day. Right over here, they now come looking for a future. Three years ago, this is what it looked like in Ferguson, Missouri. The riot started after the fatal shooting of Michael Brown on August the 9th, 2014. So I actually grew up in Ferguson. Norman King finds hope in what replaced a burned out and looted convenience store. My goal is to be an owner or CEO of my own company. But just a couple of years back, this was the epicenter of a lot of confusion. The Urban League now opens this building on the land donated from where the convenience store stood. I want to hear what y'all say as well. It's the home of Save Our Sons, offering life and career advice. Norman is one of the first students. We just try to take every excuse from them. Jamie Dennis is the director. He says the Urban League learned something valuable from the unrest. If we had opportunities or if there were more resources around here for our young people, then perhaps you wouldn't have a, a scene where you have a bunch of disgruntled, disenfranchised individuals willing to do anything it starts up. Do you remember what it was like when it was the quick stop? Yeah, uh, it, I remember the gas station being here. Then it, I remember it getting burnt down. It, it looked real bad that it burnt down. D'Amico Patterson graduated from the Save Our Sons program at another location. I believe that the Urban League can help you best with anything, with any problem you have. That's why I'm, I like this program and I always hear and I'm happy to be a part of this program. From a burned out building to building a stronger community. This is now giving those same people that will come past here and hang out at a gas station. Now they see that there's something with the Urban League's name on it. Now they're coming in, they're looking for these opportunities. Now keep in mind, they even have address clothes available here. They hope to change the community and build businesses here. We're live in Ferguson, Missouri tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.